the little slot. Look at this problem. 30 products per hour come in. We have two types of products, standard products and customized products. You may assume that these products are built in two stations, two plants, two countries. No matter what the practical instantiation is, the process will remain the same. For the product per hour come in, they go to the first waiting line. On average, eight products, eight flow units are waiting. Then they go through the first process, 80% of products or flow units go out from there, and 20%, the remaining 20%, go to the second line when there are, on average, five flow units waiting, and the second process takes 25 minutes, 25 hours, whatever you like to decide, no matter what time you need it is, as long as they are consistent, they work very well. 30 flow units per hour come in, but any time period, as long as we are consistent in time period, 100% of them go through first waiting line and first process, but only 20% of them go through the second waiting line and second process. We want to compute the flow time of standard products and flow time of the customized products and flow time of a combination of these two, an aggregate product. So if we multiply these percentages by this total incoming, we will get these numbers. 100% times 30 is 30, 100% times 30 is 30, 20% times 30 is 6. Therefore, 30 comes here, 30 here, and then 6 minus 30, which is 24, will go out, and 6 will come here, and 6 will come here, and 6 here. What comes in is 30, and what goes out is 24 from here, and 6 from here, it is still 30. The system that we are talking about is a stable system. Input is equal to output is equal to throughput. 30 per hour, throughput per minute, just divide them by 60. And these are throughputs per minute. There are eight flow units in the first waiting line and five flow units in the second waiting line. And we can compute how many flow units are here and how many flow units are here easily. We have this 8 here, we have this 12 here, we have this 5 here, and we have this 25 here. I have throughput, I have inventory, I can compute flow time because flow time is equal to inventory divided by throughput and that is 8 divided by 0.5 which makes it 16. Here, I don't have inventory, but I have flow time and I have throughput. Again, throughput times flow time is equal to inventory. Throughput is 0.1. Flow time is 25. Therefore, inventory is 2.5. Now, in all pieces of this system, we do have both inventory and flow time. Standard will take 16 minutes over there plus 12 here, and that is 28. Customized takes 28, which is over there, and then we need to add 50, and then we need to add 25. That would be equal to 103. So we have 28, and we have 103 over there, and we know that 80% follow this pass and 20% follow this pass. If one know on average how long it takes a 
prototype flow you need to pass through this system. Open. Twenty eight, eighty per cent, one oh three, twenty per cent. I compute and I type equal to some product of these two numbers and these two numbers. That is the average of them, and I get forty three. So, on average, it takes forty three minutes to pass this system for the prototype product. But there is a different way to do the same thing. If you look at here, the total inventory inside this system, 14, 19, 21.5. That is the total inventory inside this system. And throughput is 30 per hour. Therefore, throughput times flow time is equal to inventory. 30 times flow time is equal to 21. This is the summation of inventory, which was 21.5. This is average inventory throughput equal to 30. I do have this flow time T is equal to inventory divided by throughput. Oops, this is 0.71, but this is 43. No problem. This is in hour, this is in minute. If I divide this one by 60, I get this, and if I multiply this by 60, So as long as we are consistent in using units, we get the same results. Thank you very much for your attention.